The crisis point is also a great opportunity for moving out of the egoic state. The ego <laughs> is about to self-destruct. The ego isn't the fundamental problem. Uh, the problem is the story of self that runs our culture. And you could say that it's, the problem is that the ego has taken over many other functions that do not properly belong to the ego. So the story of self that I'm talking about answers the question, who are you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it says you are a separate individual in, among other separate individuals competing to survive in a world of other, in a, in a world of forces and masses bouncing around according to mathematical laws. Uh, and therefore your well-being comes through dominating and controlling the competitors and the impersonal forces outside of you. We've built a whole civilization on that. We've built an economy on that. And we have an experience of being that is informed by that story. That's a story that's breaking down. It's no longer working. The institutions built on it are no longer working. And we are in transition now. As that story falls apart, and we move into a, a new and ancient story of interconnection, interdependence, interbeing, where we know that we're not separate, where we know that that everything that we do to nature, we're doing to ourselves, that anything that's happening on this planet will inevitably come back to us, no matter how high a wall we build, that domestic violence mirrors foreign policy violence, et cetera, et cetera. Well, as we understand that and build new institutions on that understanding, the whole world will change. So we are in a revolution on every level, you know, not only are we seeing the old institutions fail us and, and begin to disintegrate, but also our understanding of who we are, that's disintegrating too. And so we're entering this, I call it the space between stories, where we just don't have answers anymore. We just don't know anymore. We're not sure who we are, what's real, how to navigate our lives, what's normal. And, and, and eventually we go through that emergent space and on an individual level too, a lot of people are going through this as the institutions of their lives, their marriage, their career, their health fall apart. People are going through a, a parallel transition. And I think we're just in the early stages of this uh, passageway, this uh, initiation as individuals and as a species. So we catch glimpses of what the future could look like sometimes. And that's one of the things I write about, you know, what would an economy of interbeing look like? Not that someone's going to read my book and say, oh, yes, that's very clever. Let's implement that right now. You know, it's not, I'm not going to change the minds of the people who are governed by the ruling institutions, the prime ministers and people like that. They're not even going to read the book for the most part. Or if they do, it'll be like their alter ego you know, in their time off. <laughs> but, but as far as what they can do in their positions of power, no way. Yes. But still, like I and many, many other people who are doing the things that we call alternative and holistic and so forth, we're kind of planting seeds that will germinate in the detritus of the breakdown that is underway. We need a new renaissance. Something for the heart and the mind. We need to be talking to each other.